You've probably heard cell phone company commercials boasting about having the best network. Well, for Michael Trombley and other members of the U.S. Army, when it comes to fighting in Afghanistan, it really is all about the network. The Army needs a 4G type secure network that we can have a standalone uh, mobile secured network. According to Trombley, a hodgepodge of radios, satellites, phones, and databases is what the military uses to communicate with in Afghanistan. As technology advances, as we move forward with our warfighting capability, we need a mobile, uh, secure network. The Army is testing the latest in secure mobile networks at White Sands Missile Range. The goal is to allow for real-time communication for the entire Army, even in the most remote reaches of Afghanistan so that across our formation we can understand what's going on around us, especially in a counterinsurgency where it's very unclear. The Army is also testing a ground robot with cameras that looks inside buildings and under vehicles, along with a small flying aircraft with cameras. And in the field, soldiers are able to control the Class 1 Block Zero unmanned aerial system with this laptop computer. The goal for the two devices is that they tie into the network so soldiers on the ground instantly pass videos and pictures to each other. Battalion Master Trainer William Heisler. It's all testing. We're, uh, we're seeing what's wrong, what needs to be fixed, how it can be fixed. The, the companies will take our work, take what the soldiers say, and they'll try to implement it as best they can. To help test the equipment, a replica Afghanistan village is built in the mountains at White Sands Missile Range. Sergeant James Cook. We're simulating the environment that the equipment's going to be used in. Cook plays the role of an Afghanistan villager every day. And for him, seeing and hearing the new unmanned aircraft is a part of life. It's able to get an aerial view of a situation, and they're able to see that and then radio back. Like uh, when we're leaving the village in our vehicles, they'll see their vehicles leaving, and they'll be able to tell their people out there, hey, you have a few vehicles moving your way, and they can intercept us. Michael Trombley hopes when he deploys to Afghanistan, some, if not all, of the technology being tested at White Sands will be ready for use. For KRWG, I'm Jared Anderson.